Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. It tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! She wants to go home. Uh oh. Oh, no. Help! Bob, do something! Fast! Oh. Oh. Got it. Pilchard, fancy a sardine sandwich a la Bob for supper? Someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you okay? <laughs> oh dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mere Madison's the guest of honor and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourist from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Muck. Hello, Muck. It's space. Leo? <laughs> And Pilcher. Yes, there is no doubt. This is one of the most exciting discoveries in years. This is extremely bad news. Underneath this earth lies the remains of a wall from Roman times. From a fort or a villa, probably. Oh, Roman. What's that? The Romans were people who lived here about 2,000 years ago. They were excellent builders. Ooh, just like us. Talking of building, Professor Bose, when can we get going again? Well, hard to say, but this dig is going to take at least a month. A month? That's ages! I did all that in just one morning! Aha! But unlike you, we have to dig very slowly and very carefully. Well, no wonder it takes so long. Your brushes are way too tiny. Well, it looks like we've got no choice. We'll have to stop working. Hello, everyone. Oh, dear. I've come to get a progress report for the mayor. Sorry, Mr. Bentley. I'm afraid there won't be any progress. No progress? Oh, dear me, no. Mayor Madison won't be at all happy. I... Why don't you come to my office? Have a nice cup of tea. The mugs are nine centimetres deep. Well, that certainly is generous. I see what the fuss is all about. Looks like a load of broken flower pots to me. Not a flower pot, Mr. Scoop. This emperor was what the Romans used for water. Ah, now what do we have here? But what am I going to tell Mayor Madison? She'll think this is absolutely fascinating. If I'm not mistaken, that's part of a Roman hodometer. Come and see, Bob. You're going to find this very interesting. The hodometer. It was used to measure distance. Ah, just like my laser measure. Instead of a laser, 
This used a little wheel to measure distance. <laughs> that would have taken ages. Yes. No engines to speed up the work in Roman time. Just people using handmade tools, pulleys and cranes. Truly incredible. Hi, Scoop. Not much of a building site when you can't build, eh? Oh, Bob, it's all my fault. And I can't even help the archiwatsits with their digging because they use tiny little brushes and I'm a big, clumsy machine. Never mind, Scoop. You'd be better off without me, just like the Romans. Big machines just make big mistakes for lots of people to come and stare at. <laughs> There's no way I could do my job without big machines like you. Really? Yes. And those people don't think it's a mistake. They think it's amazing. I mean, you don't see Roman ruins every day. Hang on. What is it, Bob? I've got an idea. Scoop, gather the team. The frozen north was the worst, wasn't it? The roads in the frozen north were simply treacherous. Ice everywhere. Trucks and lorries sliding all over the place. Two ton I said to myself, you're going to have to go very, very slowly up here in the frozen north. Two ton? Yes, Wendy? There's no ice on the roads in Spring City, so we don't have to go slowly here, do we? No, no. Of course not. No ice on the road here. You're quite right. <laughs> it takes me back, though, thinking about it. And it's a good thing I did go so slowly in the frozen hole. Because one day... <laughs> there are too many bricks here for me to carry in one go, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um... Where is Muck? Oh, you haven't seen him in ages. Muck, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop, catch this! Scoop, no! Oh, got it! <laughs> now get this one! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I want a go. Oh, Lofty, not you too! Slow down, Lofty! Oi! Oh, no! And so that, you see, is how I managed to survive the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started tidying up. They must be nearly finished. Out of the way! Go, go, go! Doesn't sound good. Mm. What's that? They're just coming through! Oh dear. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I can't, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing will be to get this lot off the ice. Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Suffy. Who's this? He's Rex, and he's my dog. Hello, Rex. <laughs> Excuse me, Suffy, whilst I tend to my cat. Don't worry, Pilchard. It's only a checkup. Oh, Bob and Pilchard. Take a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. New dog, Tilly? The Cooper here? No, I'm just looking after him. Yes, I am. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Well, I can fit you in later today. Sorry, it's rather noisy here. Can you speak up? <laughs> Good doggy, heel! Stop! 
Happened. Just a guess, but I think Cooper likes to chase cats. You, Cooper. Good dog. Sit. 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 Oh, wow. Bob, oh. what am I going to do? That was Mayor Madison on the phone. She's bringing her cat in to be groomed for a special photo. Oh, what if Cooper chases the mayor's cat? Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. Then you'd never have a problem. And could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, right. I'll do that then. <gasps> Stay. There's a good boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Once Cooper settles down. The mayor and her cat are arriving this evening. We have to get this job done today. That is not a lot of time. Oh, and can you keep an eye on Cooper? He can't come on my rounds. I've got a lot of cats to see today. <laughs> right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. One room for the cats to wait in. And one room for the dogs. OK, Muck, lift the portcullis as high as you can. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Don't drop it until I say now. No. Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Phew. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Oh, who's there? Gull? Is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? Oh, my hero. Oh, no! <coughs> my, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? <laughs> uh, of course not. <laughs> my foot's stuck. Right. There. There you go, Prince Fix-A-Lot. Um, thanks. A lot. Yay! Yay! Well done, Bob. Well done, team. Bye, Bye Bob. Bob. The castle is ready for the festival. Ooh, that reminds me. I'd better go and pick up the special costume Mayor Madison ordered for me. I wonder what I'll be dressed as. A noble king? A knight in shining armour, perhaps? Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of Yoldi Fixum Town. Come hither through these castle gates and bow down to your crown. All hail Queen Madison. For your courageous rescue efforts and restoring my castle to its grandeur, I hereby knight you, Bob the Brave. And commend your tremendous team and valiant vehicles. Uh, hello. Uh, could someone help me with my hat. 